Hi there and welcome back. Today we are going to be making the soap I teased a little bit in last week's video and that is our Sex in the Shower soap. That is the name of the fragrance. I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to call it yet. Um, I have a while to think about it so if you have any suggestions leave us a comment and maybe I'll pick yours. Um, I've made it before. This is a restock of I don't even know where I put the fragrance bottle, so you can't see it, but it came from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I'll put a link down below. It is a super fruity blend, and it was super popular. It's been about a year since I've made it. Don't even really know why, but let's get started. So we start, as always, with adding the lye solution to our oils. So this is a four color soap. The big one is going to be white. We are going to have a teal color, a pink, and a yellow. And the teal and the pink are very vibrant, which makes it super fun and kind of goes with everything. So we're gonna add, split off everything and then add the colorant. Now that everything's been uh, mixed up, it's time to pour it into the mold. So this is probably my favorite five pound mold ever. It's from Brambleberry and I've had it for, I think eight years. They have since changed the design. So you, as far as I'm aware, you can't get this one anymore unless you find somebody who's willing to give up theirs up. But these come off and it completely makes unmolding super easy. The one downside is I don't have a silicone liner for them, so you have to line it with freezer paper, which is not bad. Um, and I'll show you how to unmold it whenever we get done and ready to do that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in with my white. And then I have three colors. I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'm just going to go down one side of the mold, up the middle, and then down the other side of the mold, and then back up the middle again. And then I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with the pink. You can see how vibrant that is. I told you it was going to be super, super bright. Oops. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a mess because that's what I do best. And then with the teal also a super bright, by vibrant color. This is probably one of my favorite colorants. It's the Peacock Mica from Mad Micas. I, I love it so much. So there's that one going in. Make sure I get all the way to the corners. And now we'll add some more of the white. Okay, so I'm going to scrape all the bowls down and then add everything for a top. We have sort of a Jackson Pollock inspired kind of top, but I'm going to take a toothpick and just swirl just the little top, kind of make it all around, do, do a little swirl. I'm not doing anything in particular, just kind of dragging the colors to make a fun little design. Go back and fill in a couple places that aren't quite as designed as I might like. Alright, then we, as always, do our little spritz with the alcohol. And then we'll put him to bed for a couple days and we'll be back to unmold and cut. See you then! So it's been about 36 hours or so and our soap is ready to unmold. Let me show you how this works. So you can see here, this just pulls out, there's two holes, and it fits right in, and the other side does the same. Then the two sides come down, 
and you can pull your soap right out. And you can see I had a little bit of a mess. And then when you're done, you just put it right back in and you're ready to go again. Ta-da! Then you have to take off the freezer paper. This one is nice and safe. Started a little bit, and then you just pull it off, pull it off. And I'm being pretty careful when I'm doing this. I'm not pulling too hard. I'm trying to not make any dents or anything crazy in the soap. We have. Have the bottom reveal. Ooh, ah, look at the pretty colors. And now we're ready to get our cutter out and slice it. Okay, now we're ready to cut and see what kind of fun swirls we got on the inside. So let's line everything up and gently but firmly push down on our cutter. Okay, we'll take one from the middle. And ooh, look at those colors and those swirls. Super fun, super pretty. I love doing drop swirls because you never know exactly what you're going to get. It's always a surprise. And a nice fun surprise at that. And every single bar is just a little bit different. And I'm going to have to probably plane the tops of these. Um, ooh, that one had a little extra titanium dioxide. That one may be my bar. <laughs> and then just to make them a little bit pop on the top. You see I got a little bit of soda ash, which while it's not the end of the world, there's such bright, vibrant colors in there that I really would like to have them pop a little more. And having kind of a dull top does not do that. So we'll line up the rest of it. And cut just that little bit that's left. We'll see what the rest looks like. Oh, well, those two want to come with me. A little disappointed by how the pink kind of disappeared, but you know, some of them have more pink than others, which that's kind of normal. That one, I like that one, has a big blob of yellow in it. And then, ooh, oh, this one might be my favorite. Look at that. That is such a pretty swirl. Whew. And then, the last little bit. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.